Hello and welcome back to my channel as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail today I will be decluttering some of my makeup last time I did this people seem to have enjoyed it so I'm doing it again so without further ado if you would like to see what I have in my makeup collection what I'm keeping what I'm getting rid of then just keep on watching <music> Hair tied up, let's get started. Today's target is this plastic thing. I'm sure you all have at least one of these in your house. Quite a lot of makeup in here, which I do need to organize. I'm going to start from the bottom because this is pretty much my dumpster pile. All right, I decided to do this a little bit differently than I did last time. I'm going to take everything out and as I'm putting it back in, I'm gonna kind of show you. So in the drawer, I had two plastic containers. This is kind of my stuff that I don't use, don't like, or kind of wanna have, but don't really use i already said that you get the gist i actually have the wet n wild color icon bronzer this is actually really nice i'm into more of a cream bronzer i have max factor lasting performance foundation in here i began to do a wear test on this it never made it to my youtube because this doesn't show up on my skin straight up no coverage bobby brown enriched face base it is a very nice base but it gives me spots revolution conceal and define concealer in c15 this is a little too dark for me i prefer 13.5 i have vibo ecstasy vibo is a polish brand of makeup and this is a blush that's meant to look like even the packaging is meant to look like nas orgasm it is not and I do not like it. It's too dark for me. It is a nice colour, it really is. But it's too dark for me. So it's gonna go. I also have the Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder. This is in Precious Petals. This is also too dark for me. It's a very nice highlight. Eyeshadows I keep because I don't use them on a daily basis. I can use them eventually revolution eyeshadow and a mixing medium i like this this you've seen on my channel the i think it's like static defreezer the freezer is it frozen it actually broke on me it doesn't work anymore it doesn't even make that noise anymore i think it's gonna go in the bin my all-time favorite blush but it's broken and i never repressed it revolution treat it's gonna go in the bin ps eyeshadow super foily a super pigmented eyeshadow so nice i don't know if this is the best setup if i'm honest but i'm just gonna thanks thanks Phil. oh you keep going this isn't the best setup so i'm just going to finish this container and then i'm gonna think of something else kiko milano crush lasting color eyeshadow I've never used it on my eyes. It looks so pretty in the pot and I love, you know, swatching it because it's super glittery. You know what? I might even collect all of that stuff and make a video on it. Like stuff that I have that I never actually used. Wet n Wild Hello Halo liquid highlighter. I don't use this. Revolution Sugar Blush. Don't like the undertone of this. It's too rosy pink for me. And here we go. Emptied one of that. I'm gonna use this container to store the stuff that I kind of want to get rid of. Oh, I haven't actually swatched it. This is such a nice highlighter. This is New Look Pure Colour, but it's actually quite dark on me. I have to use it sparingly, but it's the most like natural but blinding at the same time highlighter and it's baked and it's so good. So I'm gonna keep it. To Shika eventually maybe i'll use it up but i don't want to get rid of it you know like i don't want to chuck ysl in the bin same with bobby brown this is expensive i might give it to my sister you know to use it as a moisturizer actually i also keep stuff that i want to do empties on so i have two jars of this 
and one of this this i might put in getting rid of pile this is jeffree star cosmetics manny mua eclipse the original the first one highlighter i don't like this i don't like this at all it's so chunky like wanted to be so creamy that it became chunky and even on this skin it just look how clumpy that becomes so i might try and sell it on depop if no one buys it i'm chucking it in a bin okay so i decided to chuck everything out and organize it like i did last time i remembered that if i were gonna go through every single product individually it was gonna take ages this is my has to go pile 10 hour wear perfection foundation i mean it's all right but it's not my favorite foundation i've never used it since the wear test video because i don't like it as much as some of my other foundations tried this um base a long long time ago i'm not into mattifying bases this is also going to go in the bin i barely have anything left in this i kept the bottle for no reason to be fair i used to wear this foundation quite a lot but i i just i don't like mattifying foundations anymore i guess i'm not keeping this this is vivo unicorn tears it's meant to be the like a dupe for a facade drops i don't know how to use it i don't like the smell of it gonna go in the bin one of the most disastrous foundations on my channel again i did a wear test on this if you want to see why i don't like it i will link it in the cards liquid chrome barry m a long long time ago i tested this i tried to use it several times with uh, different foundations for different things don't like it it's going in the bin and it's actually quite dried up now because i've had it for so long it's clumpy as you can see disgusting it's going in the bin i've had this in my makeup uh regrets video because this just doesn't work for me i like to use a beauty blender a wet sponge to press my powder into my skin when i do powder it also takes excess amount of powder off but this actually doesn't work with a wet sponge you have to use a brush which you know it just doesn't work for me so if you don't have that problem it's actually quite a nice powder because it does set nicely and it's not like super powdery it just doesn't work with the technique that i like to use collection sheer loose powder i have used it maybe once or twice this is actually in the pile of my second makeup uh, regrets if you've seen my initial wear test you will know that i paid i think it's like 50 quid for this because i had to pay customs and shipping and all of that jazz and to me totally not worth it so it is a makeup regret this is going to go into like a makeup regret video pile i forgot to mention this this is my glitter tin i took the eyeshadows out and used the tin to store some glitters but i don't use these so these are gonna go in the bin these are some foundations that i might eventually use up because every single one of these is okay this one i never did a wear test on let me know down in the comments below if you would like me to do a wear test on this so these four i did a wear test on these quite nice foundations decent coverage buildable all of these are not bad for oily skin they do last quite a nice time this is royal cosmetics connections bronzing shimmer what what even is this it's just just royal yeah i guess this meant to be a dupe for like bobby brown shimmer brick thing I'm, I'm binning it i never use it it's nice but i don't use it what i do use and as you can see i used up a lot there's a lot of powder in this and this is rcma no color powder i love this powder it's probably my favorite my go-to all right so that was very 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 successful this is one video idea this is another video and this is products that i might eventually use up and this is how much i have to get rid of that's uh that's a lot <laughs> draw number two is something that i'm low-key dreading because oh god there's so many and these are palettes and i don't like to part ways with any of my palettes because you know with eyeshadow 
it's like yeah i'm not using it now but i might need this specific shade that's in this particular palette so this is going to be difficult definitely oh and there's some face stuff okay let's throw everything out and let's organize it the thing is i'm keeping super super fast the original jaclyn hill palette this is the original formula i love mine the jawbreaker palette the carnival palette love it the beauty killer palette i don't really use this but it's my first ever jeffree star palette so i can't part ways with it the amazing Alyssa edwards palette my favorite from that launch mini controversy i'm keeping my tz cosmetics twilight eyeshadow palette it's got some very intriguing eyeshadow in there so i'm keeping it i'm keeping my vivo katosu palette i'm also keeping my revolution sophie palette even though it's in two parts you can see all the indents i really really like this palette i highly recommend it if you need one palette from the drugstore that's like ride or die very good it's this kat von d shade and light palette honestly i'm kind of low-key keeping this for nostalgia because i remember exactly the day i bought this i spent so much money on kat von d and i do like this product i just don't use it this is revolution ultra blush palette the golden sugar 2 rose gold i got this from my brother for christmas one time and the highlighters in here i mean you can just see it there like i don't even have to oh so good another highlighter palette this is strobing light no strobe lighting not really my thing but like on natural days maybe i mean everyone knows this this is a sleek solstice palette i cannot say goodbye to this w7 glow commotion i have the revolution jewel collection deluxe palette i want to keep it for the foily shades at the top i'm gonna keep even though i don't use it it's old and it, the quality is not even that good i'm keeping my first ever high-end palette i made this myself this is inglot freedom system palette this is the palette i'm going to part ways with sleek makeup eye divine mineral based eyeshadow palette storm oh very very nice another palette that i'm parting ways with is girls with attitude the natural palette this eyeshadow palette has amazing shimmers especially this one oh, so good i'm also going to part ways with my contour kit from collection really really like it the bronzer side is great i'm also going to part ways with collection pressed powder as you can see i really really liked it don't know why because it's very powdery like chalky kind of powdery i have a couple of things for my makeup regrets uh, video I'm not gonna spoil it and i'm gonna put it in my other drawer put a beauty setting spray don't really use it on daily basis don't really use it when i go out <laughs> if i'm honest maybe i'll see it on depop we shall see and the last and final thing that i'm gonna put in this drawer is stuff that i have put on depop for people to buy off me i'm really really happy with that i might swap these around actually because i'm selling this and keeping that so yeah it just makes more sense like this because i'm using these palettes and i'm selling that like i want things that i want to be using at the front i'm actually really happy with uh how much stuff i'm getting rid of i'm surprised to see how much makeup i have because realistically in comparison to other youtubers technically not a youtuber you know i don't get pr this is all the stuff that i bought with my own money so um uh i do have quite a lot of stuff let's keep going because the last draw i think you're gonna be terrified because i don't even know what's in there and the last draw i don't even go in this <laughs> i literally just chuck stuff in here let's go through it shall we and organize it organized it let me show you what i got if you ever thought this couldn't be any more random then you're in for a treat i have brow shavers in here i have halo beauty in here and i have 
lady stuff in here. I don't know what I'm going to do with all of these. Who needs makeup bags these days? I don't travel enough. I don't carry makeup when I'm like outside. And I literally have so many. I've managed to squeeze everything into the Jaclyn Hill one. At least it's all going to be in one place. You can never have too many hairbrushes just in case one breaks and you're like an emergency or you travel and you don't want to take your favorite one because if you take your favorite one and forget it then you're going to be mad at yourself for forgetting it so i always travel with my not favorite one and if i forget it then i'm not mad at myself i also have a cellulite roller but i don't use it anymore i'm gonna chuck it in the bin i have two oils in here 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil and 100% organic cold pressed Moroccan argan oil. I love the rose hip seed oil for an oily face. This is actually a really nice moisturizer, even if you have oily skin. And the argan oil I sometimes use for my hair. I have some plasters in here. I always keep a plaster or two in my bags because i have a tendency to blister that's why i keep them in here because i have to you know every now and again i have to top up i have a sheet mask that i still am yet to try out i have two perfumes that i don't really use i have the ones that i use on regular basis out on display i have pseudo creme um it's out of date so it needs to go in the bin. I had a cloth in here. This doesn't belong here. It's going in the bathroom. Last but not least, some stuff that I had in my advent calendar box thing. These are some sponges. I also had taken out a couple of things that I thought I might use up, but I never did. I'm just going to sell it or put it in a massive giveaway for you guys and this is what my drawer of doom looks like after it's been cleaned out and organized and it looks so much nicer i love this can we have this all the time please so in conclusion this is my first drawer it's already a little messier because there's like an empty space so every single time i try and shut it it moves about i mean the palettes looks so sexy and then the last one that was quite a lot a lot of makeup and a lot of makeup is going to end up in the bin really happy with myself guys i hope you have enjoyed that i am very sorry if this video was super super long thank you so much for watching you are the best i hope to see you next time